Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to give you a review of my Fiat Raven Kanken 17 laptop backpack, which I've been testing for over two years around Ireland and Europe. With the Kanken's raising popularity, we have to answer the question, is this bag more than just a fashion statement? So let's just jump in the full review and find out. This 20 liter backpack is a twist on the classic design, which was first released in 1978. And it is instantly recognizable for its boxy shape and a large circular Artifox logo on the front. When it comes to branding, let's be honest, you're not going to miss it. Despite the Look At Me logo on the front of the backpack, the rest of the branding is pretty minimal. You can find the Fiat Raven logo on the zipper pulls and the Artifox makes another appearance in the button as well. Inside the backpack, you also find a label alluding to the Kanken's history and heritage, where as well you can add your name and contact details which I haven't done. Well, yet, but all of this makes this backpack quite iconic. At the time of this review, the Kanken 17 laptop backpack is available in 17 different colors, of course. And I noticed that the colorways have been changing constantly over the last few years. So if there is there a color that you fancy, you can just check back later and you probably will get satisfied. The main material of this backpack is called Vinylon F. This is a synthetic fabric that has been used to create the Kanken from the very beginning. It's a great advantage of um, this material that when it gets wet, the fibers swell, making the backpack more water resistant. This will work well if you're caught in a quick shower or very light rain, but it's important to remember that uh, this backpack is not waterproof. So if you're planning on traveling to wetter climates, I recommend picking up a rain cover that uh, Fiat Raven, of course, sells on the website. Or anyway, take care to wax it thoroughly. I will have a video on how to do that in my channel very soon. But, you know, living in Ireland, rain is the order of the day, and I found this material to be super durable and quite waterproof anyway, although there's been some wear over time, but let's get back to this later on. All the zippers in this pack are YKK number 5 making them very strong, reliable and durable. I haven't had a single issue over the last few years, even when they are pushed to the limit. And of course, I've done that in countless occasions. Moving on to the external components, let's start with the harness system. Being a 17-inch pack, that is pretty simple. The shoulder straps are adjustable and uh, lightly padded, which I found to be quite comfortable, even when the pack is at full capacity. Additional padding, of course, is available in attachable shoulder pads that are quite easy to mount, it's just a question of clicking them in. And they, of course, are available in all the colors of your backpacks, and I decided to match mine. Of course, the color of this backpack is Deep Forest, just for reference. But you may find that the image on the camera can vary the color a little bit. The shoulder straps are adjustable, as I mentioned, and there is also a feature that lets you strap them down to the shoulder strap top when they are not in use. But I did find this feature pretty unnecessary for a day pack, so I kind of don't find myself using this quite often, but uh, 
I see that there is a use on this when you're using this backpack as a day pack or as an additional bag if needed. The comfortable carry is also improved by the backpack panel on this pack. This padded added laptop sleeve works wonders and it really is two for one piece meaning that uh, not only will you have the laptop protected by this additional padding, but also provide a sturdy surface for your back. You've probably also noticed that there isn't a sternum strap or a hip belt on the pack. While I've never found myself looking for one due to the size of the backpack, Fajal Raven, of course, provide a chest strap available to clip on your shoulder strap. At the top of the backpack, there are two quick grab handles, which can be attached with a loop that is already connected to the handle. As a day pack, I found this to be hardly a feature that I can use anyway. But... Quick straps are useful if you use this again as an additional bag or a larger travel pack. On the right side of the backpack, there is a pocket. Originally, I thought this would make a great water bottle pocket, but I have yet to find a bottle that fits, which is pretty disappointed, but I could comfortably fit a foldable umbrella, which is great here in Ireland. I know that Fjallraven has recently come up with an insert to fit a proper water bottle. It is pretty high on the price range, so I don't quite know how much is worth it. But you know, it's good to know that you may have the possibility there. Now let's jump inside this backpack. We'll start with the main compartment, which is basically a big bucket that you can throw stuff into. I found that due to the limited internal organization provided by Fjall Raven, packing cubes and pouches can come super handy for keeping your items, your gear all organized and preventing to get lost into the backpack. The clamshell opening on this compartment comes in super handy. You can open it slightly at the top to grab something quickly or you can open it in all the way if you need something at the very bottom. If you are into photography, Fjallraven provides a specific photo insert that can be helpful for storing your camera gear but I haven't yet tried it. Inside the main compartment, there is a sleeve that stretches across the width of the backpack. This sleeve is very useful for storing documents and uh, it actually comes hosting a cushion pad that you can use for sitting on, out and about, or as well as a general back support. Moving on, on the back of the pack, you'll find a laptop compartment. This is probably my favorite feature on the Kanken. The accessibility here is a big advantage because the laptop compartment is separate to the rest of the pack, so there's no need to empty anything before taking out your computer. You can also use this compartment for uh, documents, books that you want to access quickly while you are on the go. It is important to note that uh, this laptop pocket will only host a 17-inch laptop, which is pretty fair, big, the 17-inch, uh, probably the biggest laptop size that I know. Moving around the front of the pack, you'll see a small quick grab pocket. This is big enough to hold your items that you need to grab quickly on the go, like phone, wallet. Note that there isn't any additional security, so you can't really lock your zip. So you know yourself 
if stored in wallet or phone there, it may be quite easily accessible. At the time of this review, I've been using constantly this backpack for over two years. So it has seen its fair share of adventure around Ireland and Europe. Apart from some wear and tear that only affects the aesthetic slightly, the Fjallraven Kanken has held up very well and has impressed me with uh, its durability and uh, ongoing reliability, despite, of course, being pushed to the limit times and times again. Over time, I've found that the uh, Vinylon F, the exterior fabric, it is super durable, having been thrown around and used constantly across Europe and Ireland, but it has held up remarkably well. I did, however, notice recently a little bit of fading, and while I was looking into the Kanken care uh, notice, they do mention that you shouldn't leave it uh, in direct light, but that is quite inevitable, especially if you're going out and about, and while this does not affect the overall look of the backpack, and I don't mind it as much, it probably adds some um, to the rugged vintage heritage vibe that is going on on this backpack. And again, the 20 liter capacity of this backpack has served me really well around my day trips as well as weekend trips so I found that I could really stuff everything I need for a weekend away without carrying other bags. I really hope this review was informative and if you liked, please subscribe to my channel. This will massively help my little channel to get some visibility. As well, you can find other information in my website, irishformart.com. And I'll see you very soon. As long.